That's a big, big one. Big, big one. Great big one. <laughs> It does, it just takes a second for it to kick on. Hmm. There we go, I give him a camera. He might not film it, but at least looks nice him taking it out. <laughs> Ankle come sit. Alright y'all, I just now got set up for the evening hunt, um, as y'all can see, literally wasn't sitting here but maybe two minutes, and that one there comes sneaking in behind me, and uh, he, I was able to get the camera and stuff on him and popped him and down he went. But Tyrese is hunting another ridge tonight on the opposite side of me, and uh, I've been seeing a lot of squirrels over in there, so. Hopefully he'll have him some luck tonight. It's been my turn. Every time me and him go here lately, he's been the only one getting any. So I went to one of my good spots tonight that I figured I'd kill one. And quick as it can be. And I still got many hours to get it done. So see if we can't sit back and get another one. Y'all stay tuned.
I ended up ranging him at 30 yards and shot twice at his head. I could barely see his head out there. But uh, I figured I could still make it. But the second shot definitely hit a tree limb. But I couldn't tell if he was dying. When I shot, he ended up jumping and flipping. and I, d I lost him or whatever. But the first shot, I thought I heard the pellet hit the tree and bounce through the woods. But I thought maybe it went through him because it looked like he just fell out of the tree. So, as of right now, I may or may not have. But I just heard another one in the same spot. Uh, do a chatter and like run so uh, I'm gonna give it a few and then I'm gonna sneak up and go over there and see if I see any blood or see him um, if I did hit him it had to have been in the head and if not I just missed his head by centimeters second shot would have drilled him I literally watched the camera might have got it because I zoomed in pretty good um, might have been able to see this limb explode I watched it explode in my scope dead in line with his head the limb was literally like about the ear up here on his ears, but that pellet's rising as it's going out there. And it'll flatten out about the time it hits the target, so it just went up and smacked that limb perfect. But I'm wanting to say I got him on the first shot. Might be just nerves, but I don't know. We're gonna give it a few and then I'll ease over there and let y'all know. Stay tuned. Another thing is, I called him in with quarters. I need to start filming me calling and then, you know what I mean, get the squirrel's reaction. Um, and I'm gonna be doing a video, full video, dedicated to just how I call my squirrels and stuff. Um, perfect for evenings like this. I sat here, I wasn't seeing no more. I said, I'll hit these quarters, hit the quarters. I looked at it like 15 yards. And he's coming right up the little bush piles to me. And uh, he's seen me pick the camera up, set it down, so he went up the tree and start barking. So I leaned up against the tripod and tried to get as steady as I could on his head and shot. But I ain't, I, I'm pretty sure I missed him. But we'll see. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, I just now got back from checking everything out. I didn't find no blood, no nothing. I actually seen where I shot that branch on the second shot. It was actually about, I don't know, four feet from where he was. You know, had I missed it, it would have just dropped me right there on the second shot. But that one limb, I hit it. But that's all right, you know, hey, as long as the squirrel's not wounded and the meat's gonna go to waste, uh, you know, I'm happy. There was one more over there that I heard, and when I walked over there, I snuck up there real slow. And I never did see another one, but we still got about an hour until dark, until shooting light, so. I'm just gonna keep tucked against the tree. I uh, got a hold of Reese. He said that he saw a few on the ground too, so. A lot of these squirrels seems like here around noon, they're probably gonna start going to the ground, so. I might start ground hunting for them midday. I usually wait until about December and January because, and the end of November because there's just so many on the ground then, but it seems like this year it's going to be a good ground hunt. So anyways, with that being said, we're going to set back. And, uh, maybe he might come back. He might have a den tree over here, so he might come back down and come back later on and give me a shot. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, I got like six minutes of legal shooting light left. I was sitting here, and I could hear ch -ch 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 up behind me. There was a squirrel literally 10 feet behind me. I just, y'all ain't even gonna believe it. Anyways, for anyone that sort of would believe it, it is true. I hit these quarters. I said it's a last minute effort, hit the quarters. Sitting here, and about the time, I heard ch -ch 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 and I look behind me. He comes right up on this tree right here. I was like, I'll get the camera. I reach out, I start to unlock the camera. I do, he takes off running. He goes up on this tree right here, starts barking. I had to come up and around with the gun still. I was like, man, heck, and I just kind of lean, and he sees me, he turns and starts to go up the tree, and I heard it make one motion. Shoot as quick as I could, I got him. Big old gray, great big gray squirrel. So, dang. I wish I could have got him on camera. That would have been beautiful footage. He's in a wide open, but so ain't I. I mean, I'm up against this tree, but right here I'm in a wide open and I'm looking into an open valley. But I heard Tyre shoot twice. I'm wanting to say one was a connect. So 
think he might have got one. But, man, what a wonderful, I mean, this has been the best evening I've had since opening day. And it's been the most awesome evening ever. Beautiful weather, pretty windy, and it pushed a lot of these squirrels on the ground. And there's just something about hunting these squirrels on the ground that just, ah, oh, it's, it's my favorite way to hunt squirrels, is hunting them while sitting on the ground and shooting them up off the ground. Even though he technically was up the tree. And so on the other one that I missed, but they would have been on the ground had I had been prepared and ready and not got saw seen by him, you know, but actually seen by both of them. I got saw by both of them, I'm pretty sure. But I'm gonna set these last six minutes to light out and then sneak over, show I'll grab him and uh I'll show you all it and then go meet Reese and see how he did. So y'all can see I mean a monster gray squirrel. I wish I would have mounted this one. Big gray squirrel. I shot him right right in the center of the throat is where it come out. Should be behind the shoulder. Yep, right through the shoulder is where it went in. Big old male. Same fall, but I got him and I heard him hit the ground. Dude, there's blood everywhere. How does squirrel run that far? With the hole like that, how could he run that far? squirrel probably 35 minutes ago been looking for him right behind the leg heart shot and literally heart shot he ran probably 35 yards Good morning, y'all. It's the last week I can hunt every day. I gotta go back to work next week, so. But this morning, I, I ended up coming back on the same ridge that uh, I left off last time. Last time I was here, I shot two. Coming in this morning, I uh, scared one up off the ground. He was down here eating some nuts and he ran up the tree. And uh, I could have killed him, but you know what I mean? I had this main camera. Um, I just been leaving the GoPro at home 
Uh, I really don't see a point in using it right now. Mostly bow season is when it comes in handy. But I watched a squirrel go up in this big den tree right here and uh, he ain't moved since. So I just decided to sit down. It ain't the best morning this morning. I actually see another squirrel right now. He just jumped to that tree. But it ain't the best morning ever for squirrel hunting. It's real foggy, uh, good amount of wind and stuff. We had a little bit of rain come through last night, but I figured heck with it. I only got one week to hunt, so I might as well come out and uh, make the most of it. So with that being said, I'm gonna sit back and hopefully one of these two squirrels will give me a shot. Well, y'all, I'm going to call it a morning. It's real windy right now. And it's supposed to pick up throughout the day. If it's windy like it's tonight, I'm not going to go out. But hopefully it'll die down at some point today. I ended up seeing three in total. One on this point, one here, and one on the ground. But uh, two ended up going on the ground. I think the third one did too because I've been watching that tree for the past half hour. And I ain't seen a single squirrel. So I think this wind pushed them down on the ground. And... It's hard to tell where these squirrels are now. The spot I'm in now is really not for the ground hunting, it's for tree hunting. So if I wanted to ground hunt, I should have went back into a uh, big valley down in there. It's wide open, but I'm just gonna call it a morning, go home, get some food, and I don't know what else. I'll uh, catch you all when I get back out of here. Been fighting rain and all kinds of stuff this morning coming in. Everything soaked and wet. It rained up until I think four o'clock this morning. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it out this morning, but it ended up clear and I got up at uh, five this morning and it was done. Checked radar, it still showed a little bit of green stuff, so I went back to sleep. Overslept the hair, got up a little bit after daylight, come out here, and uh, it was done. But I did see a little bit of uh, green stuff on the radar still that I might get hit with. Um, but I made it back to my spot. This is where I sat the other day when I messed up on the three. So far this morning, I ain't seen the first one. Last time, uh, as soon as I sat down immediately, I could see them moving around the leaves and stuff. But so far this morning, I haven't even seen deer, and that's rare. Usually when I come through here, there's a big set of nut trees. I always jump deer. Um, actually, that buck that come up right here that you all had probably seen in the last clip or, or some some point in this video um, is a real nice, look like a 10 point, I'm guessing 10. I never even rewatched the video to count, but he's a nice deer. Uh, he was underneath some acorn trees and I spooked him off of them, went out here, and he made his way around. Popped up right in front of me. Which brings me to my next point. This will be the last squirrel video for a while as far as I know um, bow season comes in Saturday so I went out last night I put out deer salt licks uh, mineral licks and something that's called deer molasses I will never put that stuff out again it was so strong I've never smelled you know a lot of that stuff smells good this stuff stunk it was awful. It was like a, like a, I think the closest thing I can put it to would be a skunk beer. It was awful. 
I dumped it all out and all that jazz. But as of now, I've had three deer coming in there. Uh, two of them I'll be shooting would be, if I get a chance, would be uh, the button buck or the doe. There is a spike. I'm going to let him go for now. It's still early in the season. I want to see what I can get on camera buck-wise. But for sure, one of them's dying because they're decent-sized deer for, you know, perfect size for making jerky and uh, steak out of. That being said, I'm just going to set back. See what kind of footage I can get put together for y'all. Well, y'all, that's gonna do it. I ended up seeing one this morning. He was out here on this point. Uh, when I looked, he was going towards the ground and I hit the quarters and stuff and just kind of sat back and relaxed. Never did see him ever again, so I don't know if he went down and then went down to a den tree and went back into the den or what. Just because it's just so wet out this morning. I mean, I've gotten soaked just sitting here. Yeah, I did mount that squirrel. It was an absolute headache. And as y'all can probably see on your screen right now, it's him. Uh, that's the reason why I didn't film it. It took me what I thought was only going to take about an hour and a half. It ended up taking me three hours. To even get to this point he still ain't done he still needs a lot of work um i'm gonna go work on him for a little bit today and then uh i think i'm gonna knock the i think i'm gonna string the bow up do some shooting um i ended up losing my three finger release glove shooter's glove i don't know why i call it a release but um so i went ended up going to a tab i like the tab honestly i shoot tab three fingers under I know it's made for split fingers, but I cannot shoot a bow split finger or recurve. I just can't. I've tried and tried. It might, I just can't stay persistent. So I've been using it underneath, and I actually like to feel a lot more than a glove. Believe it or not, I think a tab is a lot better than a glove. So, yeah, I'm going to go home. I'm going to start shooting out at 20. Uh, my corn pile is about 15, 18 yards out. So I really want to get good at 20. And, I'm going to end up hunting a new spot tonight that I ain't hunted since. I think I hunted it the second day of season. Um, I went in there and I think I killed one out of it, but I knew there was more I could see him. So tonight I'm going to go down in there. I'm going to get set up tonight and see what we can do. But, but that being said, I'm going to head out. And if I happen to run into one on the way out, y'all will know. And if not, I'll catch you tonight. All right, y'all. Uh, I got in here. Spooked one right here on this log. He seen me on the way in, took off. <clears throat> I tried to film and I don't think I got it, but <clears throat> I sat down to do an interview and my camera went absolutely crazy. It would not, this thing has like a lens protector. It shuts on it. The lens protector thing was getting stuck. So I had this black line all the way around my screen. It was getting stuck and then the, uh, has a, float the lens or something like that so if i'm moving and i got it focused on something i can go like this and it won't move it'll stay you know on what it's supposed to be aimed long story short this thing started acting crazy i've never had my camera do that i don't know if it's going bad <clears throat> i don't know what the deal was i hope it ain't but i've never witnessed anything like that but then as I was messing around with the camera, I seen a squirrel go up the tree way back there, hopping around on the limbs, and I ain't seen him in a minute. But I've been, you know, making sure my camera's okay, but everything seems to be all right. Um, I don't know if on the walk in, if I jarred it somehow, you know, from walking and it bouncing around or something. I don't know, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Hopefully everything's good though. But like I say, I'm in position. I'm overlooking a valley here. I got a little valley back here behind me and another one over here on my side. The one on my side, there's a lip. It's hard to see. But once the squirrels get down a little ways, I can see a bunch of laid down logs and stuff. Just a beautiful little spot. So I'm gonna stay here for a while. I'm gonna hit the quarters uh, and see if I can't call one up. But I'll go ahead and spin you all around. Hopefully everything looks all right on camera. 
see what we can see. Y'all stay tuned. Well, y'all, I don't think I called him in with quarters, but I had just got done calling and seen him, but he was about 90. So I zeroed for 50. I was shooting 110 at Tyrese's. I was zeroed for 50, but I was shooting two mil dots high. So I tried to aim right in between the two mil dots. And I think I shot over him. I don't know. It spooked him. But, uh, yeah, I didn't think he'd get close. He acted like something spooked him. I don't know. But uh, I tried him. Just a wing in it. Tried to shoot him in the head. But I missed. So I'm going to step back. I'm going to start hitting these quarters again, though. I'm sure he went on the ground. And now he's listening. Hopefully he'll turn and come up here. Alright y'all, on the plus side, my camera seems to be doing okay again. Knock on wood, one, two, three. But uh, the squirrel went up in these den trees right here. I knew they're, I thought they were den trees. I wasn't sure and I've sat here, as y'all can see, the sky's a little light, but if I tilt the camera, it's, you know what I mean? I got like 10 minutes of shooting light left, so I'm gonna ease my way back out these trails, see if I can run into some more. But he ended up going up into that big tree back here behind me, right there. And uh, he, like I say, he must have had a hole in it because he's never moved again. I've been sitting here for the past 25, 30 minutes. Squirrel ain't never moved, so. I'd say he's got him a den hole up in there and he went in for the night. That being said, I'm going to head out and uh, I'm going to try to make it out in the morning and if I can, I'm going to make it out again in the evening and I'll decide from there if I'm going to just call it an early season on squirrel hunting or if I decide to come out one last day. But anyways, y'all y'all end up knowing. So that being said, I'm going to ease out if I find one. Y'all know, and if not, I'll catch y'all in, either in the morning or tomorrow evening. All right, y'all, I kind of didn't want to leave y'all on a limb for this video. Um, usually I'll put at the end, like, you know, uh, done for the year, whatever. But I kind of just wanted to get in here and just tell y'all thanks for sticking around with me throughout this early season squirrel hunting. Um, it is done. I'm not going to be going back after them after I tag out on deer and as y'all can see I'm decked out right now because I've been bow hunting shortly after seeing this video I'll start uploading bow hunt content like I say thanks for y'all out there for showing love and support to the channel sticking it out with me through the squirrel videos and stuff and sharing them as a squirrel hunting I'll be back out about December and January like usual 
That being said, this has been Hunt Fish How Outdoors. I'm your host, Trey, and I'll see you all on another episode. Deuces. I got him. I got him.